Mill introducing GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic, Wegovy, and Majerno for serious weight loss. This has caused some restaurants to not just offer kid menus, but GLP-1 menus with mini meals for adults. At Olive Garden, the GLP-1 menu is a single meatball to share. While the pounds are dropping off, studies have revealed a hidden problem. GLP-1s were originally developed for type 2 diabetes. They mimic a natural hormone that slows digestion, lowers blood sugar, and reduces appetite. That makes it much easier to eat less and lose weight. But here's the catch. Up to 25 to 50% of that weight loss is muscle mass. You may think smaller muscles are worth it as long as you have less fat, but it leaves you with a slower metabolism. Each kilogram of muscle mass loss is 13 fewer calories you'll burn off each day. Okay, that's not a lot, but a new study shows that losing muscle means no real improvement in cardiovascular fitness, the number one predictor of a long life. In general, muscle mass keeps you mobile and independent, adding years to your life. So while dropping 40 pounds may look good in the mirror, if half of that is muscle, your long-term health may actually suffer. Here's the good news. Muscle loss on GLP-1s isn't inevitable. You can lose fat and keep muscle with three resistance training sessions per week, plus aerobic exercise on the other days. And don't skimp on the protein. About 1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight per day helps protect muscle, which you won't get with a mini meatball. The reality is GLP-1 drugs are powerful tools for weight loss. But if you don't protect your muscle, you may lose more than just weight. You may lose strength, fitness, and long-term health. If you found this useful, hit like and subscribe and share with someone who's considering a GLP-1. It's better than sharing a meatball. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.